is you put the paper towel over like this, and then you put this on top. Now see how much moisture was on this? Now this just came out of the refrigerator from last night. This was in it, and this is soaked and wet, but none of it got into the sauce, which is a really, really good thing. This is really, you could, you could look, all that would be in my sauce. See that? So it doesn't go into your sauce and it keeps it the way it should be. Okay, freezer tips. So here's, here's what you do. So these meatballs were made last night. Linda made big softball meatballs, right? But here's what I do. So I cut them up like this. And then, so that's two meatballs, okay? Meatballs, I give, bring this to my son a lot. A couple of sausages. You know what? I'm gonna do three meatballs in this one. That's it. Just like that, right? Piece of cake. Then you take your sauce. Two. I put about four in there. Now that's gonna be that's gonna be perfect for when you come home from work. It's frozen. You take it out of the freezer. Now, very important. When you take it out of the freezer and you put it in the microwave, you just put it in the microwave for two minutes. Don't nuke the whole thing down because it ain't gonna happen. The bag's gonna, you're gonna get a hole in the bag, everything's gonna end up, you're gonna be cursing me. So, two minutes in the, in the microwave and it's gonna allow you to break it up and get it into a pan. Cook, you know, just simmer it in the pan, get it going, boil your water, and in 10 minutes, you have beautiful meatballs, spaghetti, and sausage. So, that big pot right there, Let's just say you weren't going to eat at all. That big pot will get you at least 10 of these. Stack them up in the freezer. Perfect. Really, really, really good. Okay? That's the tip of the day.